If you're still in Champion Select, know that champions with poke skill shots can really kill Draven easily. Varus with his Q and E is one big example of this, since he can just aim at his passive mark on the floor, but Sivir with her Q and Spell Shield can do wonders too. Caitlyn is the last great example of this, and traps can really make his job hard. Ash for her poke and stun, Callista with her hops, and Zaya with her root for when he's chasing are all viable counters too. Draven's passive allows him to get adoration stacks every time he farms, destroys a turret, or catches a spinning axe. Once he kills an enemy champion, then he claims money for those stacks. His Q is called Spinning Axe, and it will make his axe bounce off of a target for him to catch in the direction he's walking while also dealing bonus damage. If he successfully catches it, it will activate again and again. He can actually yield two of these at once. Blood Rush, his W, gives him bonus movement speed and attack speed for three seconds, but catching an axe resets this cooldown. His E makes him throw two axes in a straight line, knocking enemies aside and slowing them. Whirling Death is a global ultimate that returns to Draven after reaching the edge of the map, hitting an enemy or being activated. Obviously, it gets damage reduced after each enemy hit to a minimum of a 40%. Like most ADCs, his combo relies a lot on auto attacks. In Draven's case, he'll have his Q up which will show a mark on the floor, meaning he'll try to get there to catch it, which will be a good chance to hit him with skill shots. Unless the meta changes drastically, ADCs will take flash heal, and so will you if you're an ADC. The good thing about ADCs is that almost no one builds CDR, so you can be sure that both flash and heal will take 5 and 4 minutes respectively to be up. Draven can really shine in the first few levels of the game, and is one of those champions where his ultimate isn't really such a big power spike compared to levels 2 and 3. He is a very high risk but even higher reward, meaning he has to get his stacks gashed out before he getting killed or he'll lose 75% of them. He becomes unstoppable with a single kill and can scale that to the whole game. A single BF sword is scary, but Death's Dance can really do wonders for him because he'll just heal off the damage that he gets dealt. Get an Executioner's Calling early to stop his healing and thank you for tuning in. Good luck in your match and remember, he's got low mobility so call for a gank if he's pushing his luck, literally. Use his marks to hit him with skill shots and stun the hell out of him when he's looking to engage. It'll stop his Q bouncing, hopefully. Ultimately, have fun doing it.